This is Teo's Danger Baby, originated by Holland Tire Teo Bacalar. I'm not exactly sure what it's supposed to imitate, but I'm guessing something catasy. What I do know is it's worked exceptionally well for me the last couple of springs. I start with a Lightning Strike SE30 Scud Emerger Hook in size 16. I'll pair this with a 3 seconds of an inch gold bead. Insert the point of the hook into the small hole of the bead and work the bead around to behind the hook eye. You can then get the assembly firmly secured in the jaws of your tying vise. Two different threads are used for the Danger Baby. The first is fluorescent green 140 denier. Leave an extra long tag, say two to three inches, then get your thread started on the hook shank immediately behind the bead and continue taking rearward wraps down the shank. Take wraps well down into the hook bend, almost to the jaws of your tying vise. Then take a half dozen or so touching wraps back up. Pull the tag end up and forward so it rests on top of the hook shank and take wraps to secure it there. This will keep the thread wraps below from slipping further down the hook shank. Continue taking touching wraps to reach the midpoint of the shank, then lift the remaining tag up and snip it off close. Reach for your whip finish tool and use it to do a four or five turn whip finish, seat the knot well, and snip or cut your tying thread free. Now, load a bobbin with a spool of black UTC 70 denier, which will be used for the rest of the fly. Once again, get the thread started on the hook shank behind the bead, but this time leave an even longer tag, one that's maybe five or six inches in length. Continue taking rearward wraps of tying thread, binding the tag end to the near side of the hook as you go. Leaving about an eighth of an inch of green butt showing, wrap the black thread forward all the way back to behind the bead. Snip a six inch length of golden brown Antron yarn free from the spool. This will be enough to make numerous danger babies. With a half inch or so extending beyond the hook eye, lay the Antron on top of the shank and start taking wraps to secure it. Once it's locked down well, get hold of the remainder of the strand with plunger style hackle pliers. This way, when you snip it off close, you'll be all set to tie the next fly. Continue taking thread wraps rearward to cover the butt ends of the Antron and end with your tying thread about halfway between the hook point and the barb. Pull two peacock curls free from the rest and snip an inch or so of their brittle tips off square. Place these ends against the near side of the hook and take thread wraps to secure them. Keep taking wraps rearward until you reach the bright green tag, then wrap forward to just in front of the hook point. Get hold of the two peacock curls in that long thread tag you left. Pull all three together and secure your hackle pliers about four inches down from the fly. Reach in with your tying scissors and snip the excess of all three off fairly close. Twist the hurls and thread clockwise so they begin to form an iridescent fuzzy little rope. Start taking wraps with the rope so it begins at the top edge of the green tag and continue taking touching wraps forward all the way up to your tying thread. Use your thread to firmly anchor the rope but don't snip off the excess. Pull back on the Antron yarn and anchor it right where the peacock wrap stopped. Then relocate your thread to behind the bead. Continue taking forward wraps with a twisted peacock rope before anchoring it with wraps of tying thread at the back edge of the bead. You can then snip the excess off close. Once again, reach for your whip finish tool and use it to do a four or five turn whip finish. Seat the knot well and snip or cut your tying thread free. Pull the Antron back and using the trailing edge of the hook as a guide, snip it off square. And that's Teo's Danger Baby. There's nothing overly fancy or difficult about this pattern, but it's one that I have a great deal of confidence fishing. <music>